The level 124 target in today's raid can be done pretty easily whether you are driving or doing it on auto. Hey everyone, Derpy here, welcome back to another Battle Pirates video. This is my average upgrade of U3 Mutineer Fleet against level 124 target. I will also release a video using the free Kickside Fleet, maybe even on auto, just to see how things go. Starting out here, you just charge the first Juggernaut X and stop as soon as you're in range. And let me zoom in here so you have a little bit of a better view. And at this point, you shouldn't really get hit by any of the drones from this first one because of the exact angle. If your damage is lower than mine, however, you might have to pivot around a little bit so the fleet isn't charging directly at you so you don't get hit by any of the drones that spawn. At this point, you're going to look through your holes to see which one has any damage taken, ship number 3, so I'm going to pick one that has more health, like, like ship 1 and 5, and stick that one out slightly in front, just barely. Then charge into the next one right here, the next Juggernaut X, and launch my whole volley off. Once I get one or two volleys off, I'm going to move a little bit to the side here, just so that any drones are potentially not doing any damage to me, because it's not getting closer to me, it's now moving sideways. You did see it launched off a volley there, but I don't really think it did any damage, so I'm not worried about that. You will notice ship 1 did take more damage now, and that has damage on it. Now I'm going to use another ship to tank, and if you have anything built more as a tank, like for me I have ship 5, I'm going to move that slightly out in head and target the next Juggernaut X, and this one you are in range of two ammo carriers, you do a much better job, you kill things faster, it seems like to me. Don't quite take my word for that. At this point, you just have one Jug, jug X left right here, pick one that isn't damaged yet, like for me number 2, and move that slightly out ahead. Now you do have to pivot a little bit if you do get too close, because again, you don't want to take damage from these drones. They do hurt more than a little bit if you do mess up and do take extended damage from them for a long period of time. But you also don't want to take more salvos than you have to from these torpedo things from the Juggernaut Xs. At this point, all Jug Xs in the target are down, and you can just kill this thing mostly on auto. I'm just going to drive it to keep the red things in front and to kill the target slightly quicker. This is a very quick kill, and if you want to auto this instead, I get about 14 or 15 minutes damage with my fleet. Keep in mind, a lot of RNG happens in this target, and I am using an evade crew, and I will show you my build just after we see the battle report here. If you do enjoy these videos posted day one of raid, go ahead and leave a like, and let's get to the battle report. You can see all the damage I took was concussive, and I was able to evade or use countermeasures against most of it, and then the damage I had was some explosive, front and, front and then some concussive, so pretty much as expected with this target. 9 minutes, 50 seconds damage. This is over 5 ships, and again, I use some of each of different ships to tank by alternating between which ones, so this is instant repair and base, really easy target, really easy to drive if you have the fleet upgraded. If you don't, and you just have the free kickside fleet, don't worry, I will be making a video on that one too. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below, I do these videos to help you. If you have a question, I want to answer it. Hope this video helped, and as always, this is Derpy, signing out, helping you be a better pirate.